Welcome to Mayo Clinic Q&A. It's May the 26th, and I am Dr. Helena Gazelka. During the COVID-19 pandemic, one thing that has not eased is the need for oncology treatment and for uh, treatments for cancer patients. While patients may be fearful of leaving their homes for weeks at a time, for some breast cancer patients, there may, may be a fast track option at the Mayo Clinic. Certain breast cancer patients with low risk disease may be able to undergo their surgery and radiation within 10 days. Here to discuss this with us today is Dr. Tina Hyken, Mayo Clinic surgeon. Welcome, Dr. Hyken. Hello, how are you? Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. I know we have heard so much in the media about people being fearful to go get their treatment um, during COVID-19, even for some emergency situations. And so surely cancer is a concern uh, for patients, but they know they need treatment. What's the typical timeline for breast cancer treatment for surgery and radiation? So typically, once the decision's made for patients who are having breast conserving surgery, where the tumor is removed with a margin of normal tissue, usually for invasive cancers, lymph nodes are also checked. And then the plan is for adjuvant or extra radiation to decrease the chance of a tumor coming back. For these patients, usually the radiation part occurs four to six weeks after the surgery part and is given over a three to six week time period. How long is the course of treatment if patients are able to undergo expedited treatment? The treatment can be delivered in as short a time frame as five days um, or uh, within nine days, depending upon the exact a treatment plan and the exact day of the week that treatment is started. Here, because we have frozen section pathology, that means that the tissue we remove in the OR is evaluated by a team of pathologists while the patient is asleep. It means we can check and make sure that we've completely removed the tumor, usually with a safety margin of normal tissue around it. We can check and make sure that the lymph nodes we remove are negative and have no evidence of tumor in them. And then during the same operation, instead of waiting for the patient to heal and waiting for the final pathology, we can place a special catheter that the radiation oncologist can use to deliver radiotherapy. What we do is that the day after surgery, we confirm the final standard H&E pathology, that our margins are indeed negative and that there's no disease in the lymph nodes, and then the second business day after surgery, the radiation treatment is initiated. Wow, that's amazing. What a difference between a long course and a short course. Is it as um, effective is this a, if a patient underwent longer treatment? Great question. So there's a growing body of data showing that this approach is safe in appropriately selected patients. Most recurrences of breast cancer when the breast is retained occur in the very same quadrant of the breast as the index tumor. So when we look at those uh, recurrences, we're really aiming the radiation to the place where the patient is most likely to recur. So that the treatment is very effective and numerous studies have shown that from a practical standpoint, the risk of local recurrence in the breast is essentially the same with this approach and with whole breast radiation when we follow patients for about 10 years. Was this protocol available or being developed before COVID-19 or is this like so many other things, uh, a wonderful um, silver lining to the epidemic we've been facing? So we developed this protocol here uh, starting in 2011 and put our first patients on in 2012. And we thought about this, again, because of the questions that you, you brought up, concern for safety and multiple trips and minimal disruption, minimal episodes of travel. So this is kind of a natural fit for suitable patients um, who want to come, be seen in consultation, have their COVID screening testing done, proceed to surgery, wait a day, and then get their radiation, and then go home, uh, within uh, five to nine days after surgery. And how wonderful for the patients to be able to start the recovery after just uh, less than two weeks. That's pretty amazing. So 
So that we think this works well for patients who travel from a distance and patients who are really busy and want to have minimize, minimize the disruption to their work or their family or their other life schedules. Uh, but it also seems to be a great fit now to minimize the number of uh, interactions uh, that the patient has to have and disruptions in travel and so forth. Which patients are eligible to have this shorter course, course of treatment? Suitable patients are those women who are age 45 years and older, those with small tumors, the ones we classify as T1 or two centimeters or smaller based on imaging or physical exam, and tumors that express the estrogen receptor. Do most of the patients who come to Mayo Clinic and are eligible for this abbreviated or expedited course of treatment know that before they come to Mayo Clinic, or is it something they find out after having a consultation here with one of our physicians? Most of the time, patients are seen first in our special breast clinic by specialized internal medicine uh, physicians who specialize in breast care. And that's usually the first time this is brought up to them. Sometimes patients have come here specifically seeking this treatment approach, uh, but the majority find out about it when they're here. What else would you want um, patients who are considering coming to Mayo Clinic uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic to know about receiving care? We've heard it multiple times from our patients uh, that they feel very safe having care here. I would want patients to know that we are monitored very closely. Uh, there are very strict rules about when we can and cannot come to work. So we all take our temperatures and wash our hands a lot. Uh, we have a strict masking policy. And we have uh, really done a lot to establish social distancing in the work areas uh, that patients don't see, as well as in the areas that patients do see. We've also been asked to spread out our schedule a little, little bit so that there are fewer patients in a waiting area at any one time. So all of these things have really um, been done to be in line with the CDC guidelines for social distancing and masking. The other thing uh, that I'd like to share is that a number of patients uh, have shared with me how safe they've felt uh, getting treatment here. So I'm a surgical oncologist or a cancer surgeon. Um, I never really stopped operating, but only operated on patients uh, with more advanced disease during this time and spent a lot of time talking with patients about this. And I've had a fair amount of feedback on this. And it is really nice to see um, that patients have felt very safe and cared for here at Mayo. I think that's a really good point. I am a pain physician, and so I have an inpatient, outpatient, and procedural practice as well. And the feedback has been tremendous from the patients about what they've experienced as far as how Mayo is trying to keep them safe while they're here, and they're very appreciative of that. Thank you so much, Dr. Tina Hyken, for joining us today and talking about expedited treatment for breast cancer here at Mayo Clinic. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate it. And thank you, too, for listening in today to Mayo Clinic Q&A. Mayo Clinic Q&A is a production of the Mayo Clinic News Network and is available wherever you get and subscribe to your favorite podcasts. To see a list of all the Mayo Clinic podcasts, visit newsnetwork.mayoclinic.org. Then click on podcasts. Thanks for listening and be well. We hope you'll offer a review of this and other episodes when the option is available. Comments and questions can also be sent to Mayo Clinic News Network at mayo.edu.